Hey guys, got to talk to you about something. Um, okay, my neighbor here in this apartment building, I got one neighbor across from me. And this guy is crazy. He uh, is crazy. Okay, let me, let me uh, set the foundation for what happens, what's coming up, what's going to happen, and spiritual. It took, a, it took a turn spiritual. So I thought I'd report it here because it's interesting to, to me. Blows me away, this guy. What happens? What happened so far? So, this guy has been, he has a big air conditioner. And this air conditioner rattles my whole room. Keeps me awake, drives me nuts, gave me a stroke. I stroke. I stroked out from the noise from his air conditioner and the priestess. I still twitch. I got. I got what's that called? The anxiety attacks. When he turns the air conditioner on, I have an air. I have an anxiety attack. Never had anxiety my whole life. So. There's that. So the landlord, the landlord, uh, the maintenance guy, I've been complaining to him to find, I was accusing the air conditioners on the roof. They got three big, huge air conditioners on the roof of the building. I thought it was them. The maintenance guy said it wasn't them. It wasn't the big air conditioners. So he came down, he came to my apartment one day and decided to find out what this noise was that was stroking me out and driving me fucking nuts. So he went and knocked on the neighbor's door. The neighbor opens the door and uh, he was talking to the neighbor about, can I come in and check for this humming noise? It sounds like an air conditioner. And uh, just then, the air conditioner came on. My next door neighbor said, my air conditioner, my air conditioner just came on. So he, he the maintenance guy, looks at me and says with a big smile on his face we found it it's his air conditioner he's got his big ass air conditioner stuck in his patio door okay okay it's minus one outside Minus one degrees Celsius. So I have a witness. My attention turns to this guy. This guy has been driving me nuts. Not from the air conditioner. From the fighting in his apartment with his women. He takes his one girl tells her he loves her and I have I recorded their fights in the hallway and in the, in, in the hallway mostly but I can hear them fighting next door and it's gone to abuse I mean the police have been called several times it's crazy the girl one girl will stand outside his apartment and pound on the door an hour struck 
disrupt the whole building. I've encountered this since he moved in. Because he has another girl in there. He's screwing. He's screwing several girls in his building and he lies to them. And this is the way he is. I don't really care about the fighting. It's annoying. It wakes me up. But I'm used to it, sort of. I mean, I, rep I decided to report disturbances. This is a complaint form about the where I can report the disturbances. So I report the disturbances. Back to the air conditioner. Chatham Housing calls up my neighbor and says, uh, you ain't supposed to be using two air conditioners in the middle of winter. Well, he can, he can, he can, for some fucking reason, he runs his air conditioner. So he promised the maintenance guy that he would put rubber underneath it or something to stop the, the vibrations, the noise. He didn't. He went and got a small air conditioner, another one, and put it in his bedroom window, which is normal. That's what everybody else does. And uh, at this time, as, I, as he was doing that, I uh, woke up and I was over by the over by the fridge. And I heard, and I was thinking about this, because he was running the small air conditioner. I, the small air condi conditioner. I can hear the small air conditioner also, but it's considerably less destructive noise. It doesn't sound like an airplane idling on my roof or in my apartment. So... With that said, I was over by the air conditioner. I was over by the fridge getting some food or something. And I just woke up and I was thinking about that. When I heard a voice say, I'm moving. It was his soul telling me he's moving. months away whatever so in the summertime he's moving that freaked me out it scared the shit out of me because i ain't used to, I, ain't, I ain't i'm used to it but when another person in the physical soul tells you and you hear it physically it kind of freaks you out i'm moving so i knew i was communicating my soul to his soul and I heard, I heard physically, I'm moving. <sighs> that afternoon, I woke up again to three region priests talking. They were floating, floating between my apartment in his apartment, right there in the middle of the apartment where the wall is. I heard him physically talking. It wasn't, it wasn't really loud, but I heard him. I said, what do the region priests have to do with my neighbor's problem? So my inquiries, I asked as regents, and they just said, they said, Rich, the guy is fucking crazy. He abuses women. He's a sexual psychopath. And some of the things he's done 
in his life. I can't even mention him. And I'm like, fucking great. So he's violent? Yeah, he's really violent. And I'm like, great. Just fucking great. So it turns out, and his girlfriend he fights with committed suicide because he broke up with her. And she lives in this apartment building. And he's screwing another girl or multiple girls from this apartment building. And she committed suicide. She lived, but she attempted suicide. Went to the hospital, everything got healed up. Took (sighs) He's only been here a year. This guy. I don't know the whole story. But they said he abuses them, he punches them. He's a woman beater. Now, I don't know the psychopathy of why a woman would date someone like that or want to be with that or even commit suicide over something like that. That's beyond me. I don't fucking know. But there you go. That's what happened. She starts seeing him again. He kicks her out of the apartment and brings in another girl from the building. The police are called. Big fight ensues. So I got 17 minutes of audio of her screaming and pounding at the door at 5 a.m. And I reported it to Windsor Housing. Last night, another fight broke out between the girl he was seeing. Kicked her out of the house, kicked her out of the apartment, and she ran down the hallway. And they were fighting. I woke up from that. (sighs) It's insane. So, I inquire about, uh, my soul tells Jesus and my kids and my boy, girlfriend, spiritual people, spirit people, what's going on. He just does all the time. So, they're screaming, Uzi, Uzi, Uzi. And I'm like, what the hell's an Uzi? And I put my earplugs in, and I meditate, and I can can hear them talking to me. Jesus Christ, my kids. They got, and Christ has been working on them since I found out since the region priest came that day and did a read on him that he's abuser. I'm like, what the hell is a Uzi? What's, what does Uzi mean? It's the guy's name from the Legion. Christ and he, he, this guy, his name is Uzi. He's a spirit person from the Legion. And he he confronts and deals with abusers on the earth that are abusing Christians, me. And there's another old lady across the hallway who's a Christian. She's so intimidated intimidated by this guy and another idiot next over to her that she she just stays in her apartment building. She just stays in her apartment and doesn't report anything. That's her way. Me, I'm reporting every fucking thing to Windsor Housing. Now, I don't feel the need to confront this guy. I let Windsor Housing do it, or Chatham Housing do it. Let the law enforcement do it. But they're taking their sweet time. And I'm like, someone's going to die. Christ, the damn woman, the psycho woman, she committed suicide over this guy. So he's got to go. He's got to go. 
This guy Uzi has been working. Uh, find the words for it. He enters the dream space of my neighbor, he enters the dream and confronts him. So you think you're a fucking tough guy, do you? This is what my neighbor dreams about for the past three days. So you think you're a fucking tough guy and abuses him back. That's the only way Christ, well, from what I understand, with this scenario, Christ got this guy, Uzi, who's a Christian, who's with Christ, to come into the body of my neighbor and confront him in dreams. So you think you're a fucking tough guy, do you? So he's dreaming this, being confronted with abuse. So as much abuse as he has given out to people, he receives in dreams. That's the plan. Uzi says he's going to do this for three weeks, run his course, run his course in dreams, make him, make him, and it's supposed to heal him up. It's supposed to teach him whatever he's given out, he's going to receive. The regent priests have worked on him, and now Uzi's working. His name is Uzi. If that means gun, I don't know. I thought it did, but I'm thinking maybe not. But he's a big dude. Big, big fucking dude from the Legion. I couldn't even believe it. Anyway, I found that very interesting. Uzi was there last night working on my neighbor. And guess what my neighbor did? At 5 a.m., 3 degrees Celsius, he turns on both air conditioners. There's no woman in his apartment building, in his apartment right now, because he's fighting with them both. So he turns on both air conditioners to drive me nuts. He doesn't even know what's going on spiritually, this guy. He doesn't even know what his own soul's doing. But I'm sending in my report to Chatham Housing again. It's like the 10th one in two months. And we're going to see. I want to see. I want to. I want to. Go through this experience with you to find out what Christ and Christ spirits, how they deal with abusers. And the, all the experiences I have with this guy, I, I, don't, I don't plan on confronting. And here's another thing. Here's another thing. The day I heard the ghost say, I'm moving, that was him, his soul, responding to me. But I didn't know I was talking to him. I was doing my shit in reality. The next day, I walk out the door of my apartment. He comes walking around the corner and passes me as I'm locking the door. I haven't seen him in months. He goes to his apartment. He knows I squealed on him. And goes inside. And I'm thinking, I, I was freaking out. What are the odds of that happening? Me meeting him in the hallway. I haven't seen him in months. 
And the day he tells me I'm moving and the maintenance guy confronts him, will shut your fucking air conditioner off or stifle it or put some rubber underneath of it. And Windsor Chatham Housing was called. She called him and told him whatever. He knew it. And that next day, this guy unconsciously meets me in the hallway. Random. I hadn't seen him in months in the hallway, in the building. But it just so happens that we meet in the hallway one second out of the day. Maybe two. What are the odds of that? What are the fucking odds of that? Pretty good, I presume. But being that I haven't seen the guy for months anywhere, and you say you can't win the lottery, you can win the lottery. That's the way it works, man. I was blown away. And it's like, it's like as soon as you're confronted with a problem, the problem meets you in the hallway for some fucking universal godly reason. It meets you in the hallway. You're confronted. So I, I took it as a sign. I took it, definitely took it as a sign. What are you going to do about it, Rich? Are you going to beat me up? This guy's pretty fucking big. He's a pretty big dude. He may win. If we, me and him were going to get in the first fight, he may win. But I'll give him a round or two. That's for damn sure. He outweighs me oh, by a lot. He's a fat pig. Fat slug pig. He's about 55, 60 years old. 63 maybe. But he's still a fat pig. So he's got weight on me. Like he's not he's not fucking obese, but he has some weight to him. More than I had. When I had my stroke, I lost all my weight. I was ribs. Ribs. The meds the meds they gave you sucked all the body fat out of my fucking body I was down to zero I'm just starting to get some weight back and my muscles are shot I got workout which I don't think is going to happen yeah so it took a toll on me it fucking did and I'm getting a note from the doctor to move me downstairs from this apartment. But that don't happen till April 17th. And then I don't know how long I have to wait. The regents say he's moving mid-July, somewhere in mid-July, April, May, June, July. It's March 31st now. So I got three fucking months to deal with this asshole who runs air conditioners. Two air conditioners. At three degrees Celsius. Hell, he was running the big air conditioners yesterday and it was minus one. He was running them in the weekend before all this before I confronted, before the maintenance guy found it, minus eight, he was running the large air conditioner. Who the hell is a fucking psychopath enough to run an air conditioner? And he has the air conditioner on. Like, it's not the fan air conditioner. It's the air conditioner. It's not the fan. It's the air conditioner that makes the vibration. 
like this. I can hear it in the hallway around the corner. And my room is just just fucking saturated with the vibration. It's unbelievable. It's driving me nuts. It's driving anybody fucking nuts. It sounds like a biplane. It sounds like a World War One biplane sitting on your roof. So I'm going to keep you informed what uh, Uzi's doing. The situation I'm involved in. And I don't want any of this. I don't want any of this. But I gotta. I'm tired of. I'm tired of hearing. I'm fighting with his girlfriends. I'm tired of. I just found out last week. I had a stroke from his air conditioner, and I was blaming Chatham Housing air conditioners on the roof. I was blaming the roof air conditioners, but I ain't heard them all fucking winter. But I've been hearing him all winter. This is a psychopath. I'm living by his side. Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you that. And I woke up at 5 a.m. with both air conditioners running. I said, I can't say air conditioner. My stroke. Big complex words like air conditioner. I slur it. I'm sorry, I'm trying. I'm getting better at my language since my stroke. But unbelievable. So it's fascinating. I never, I never knew they got a Uzi. I never, I didn't even know there was a Uzi. I didn't even know that Jesus Christ got people to deal with abusers on the earth. Apparently he does. And I'm going to get the information. All the information I get, I relate to you. All right, I got an update video coming up for other things I've experienced and I'll drop that when I make it okay later guys